The discussion surrounding Stellar Blade has been nothing short of absolutely crazy, and at the time of me releasing this video, you might already be playing the game, and a lot of these questions may be answered, but we're going to go over a lot of it right now, and as you see, pre-hard R patch, this outfit existed in Stellar Blade. Will it be there tomorrow? Time will tell and there is just so much i keep coming back to this as people remind me this is an awful move on their part stellar blade needs to release a statement now i'm waiting for more confirmation tonight tomorrow and of course this is stellar blade uncensored in all countries but of course we had the hard r situation and uh mainly i believe that was created by games journalists for sure uh it's looking confirmed stellar blade is censored reports uh from ng plus players on reddit twitter and stream uh, confirmed the swimsuit is altered even in NG+. Physical disc seems to have the uncensored versions. Reviewers, uh, copies, and day one patch have this version right here. Um, As had a good tweet. He says, Sony has censored the hard R wall in Stellar Blade. Yes. Should they have done it? 100% no. Do games journos want you to boycott it now because of censorship? 100% yes. Why? Because the game is good and and Eve is based off a real woman's body. They want you or they want to use censorship against you and make the games fail. Absolutely 1000%. Now here's a good video from Hero Hey who we've had on the channel before and uh, if you've not subscribed to Hero Hey you should totally do that. It makes great content and he kind of summarizes a lot of the craziness that we've been Stellar seeing. Stellar Blade has officially released and as expected there's some journalists out there saying some real weird stuff about this game. For example, we have this tweet with over 1,500 likes saying, This gotta be a joke. And posting this article from The Gamer with the headline, Stellar Blades on Censored Release Should Not Be a Cause for Celebration. A very odd headline. And I also read the article, and that was also quite an odd read. The author going on to apparently take umbrage with what they're calling anti-censorship gamers. Well, being an anti-censorship gamer sounds like a pretty good thing to be. Anti-censorship gamer. Apparently that's a bad thing, ladies and gentlemen, from the Pronouns and Bio Games journalist. Don't know why this person would uh, think otherwise. But they also go on to say that calling the game uncensored does more harm than good. A typical games journalist take right there. If anything, it does more harm than good. Um, again, Pronouns and Bio. Which, in my humble opinion, is just a really creepy thing to say. So that article has been going kind of viral in Stellar Blade discussions today, but there's also this situation as well, where you have this wall <laughs> with the graffiti reading hard next to the letter R, some people taking this as a reference to a certain racial slur. Apparently that same hard graffiti can be found in numerous areas throughout the game. This one just so happening to be next to Roxanne's shop, being called the R shop and resulting in what you've seen. Sony and Shift Up saying the reference was then unintentional, this getting patched out to instead say crime. So crime, now it says crime, so it's crimer, crimer, right? Well, guess what? Crimer also, according to Urban Dictionary, crimer also is a slur. So this is what happens when you go down the social justice rabbit hole. When you go down the social justice rabbit hole, you will never, ever, ever not be, find fake offended people. So now... Now you've created, uh, you've, you've highlighted yet another fake slur so people can be fake offended over and you get exactly what you deserve, Sony, for doing just that. So damn funny. However, despite some people's offense towards that situation, others defended it, saying that the people offended were just nitpicking and trying to make the game fail. The Black Hokage even posting this meme saying, since the hard R is trending today, I'd like to take this moment to make everyone aware that Stellar Blade isn't the only thing that needs to be canceled. And including this clip of the Hard Rock Cafe <laughs> with a, a little issue in the sign there. Aside from from some By the way, Black Hokage is garbage, so uh, yeah. People's outrage. It does seem like the aggregate of reviews for Stellar Blade are largely positive. As expected, some of the worst reviews seem to take offense at Eve's good looks. That's the summary for what's going on today regarding Stellar Blade. If you pick the game up, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you... Yeah, and again, Hero Hey, great channel, so you guys definitely go check that out. But, I mean, there is a lot. There's a lot to kind of focus in on when you're looking at the reception to this game, games journalist, and how is Sony going to handle this moving forward? Because, again, you've already changed one thing, and as soon as another 
uh, blue haired Landwell makes a big fuss about Crimer. Are you going to change that too? Uh, it's just absolutely ridiculous. So again, mo most of you at the time of watching this video will already be playing the game and uh, maybe some of those questions will have answers. I'll be playing the game as well. So I'm looking forward to getting into it and seeing what it's all about. And you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video and we will talk to you later.